And my daddy. And my daddy was recycle. How much trim balloon do I take? How? <laughs> no! Oh, no, no, no. Uh, what, what was the question? You natty, bro? Yes, I am natty. What's good, people? It's when just flex it. You already know it. <laughs> um, it is going to be a Q and A. Um, basically, I ask on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube to ask me a question. I'll and I'll answer to every single one of it. So, uh, let's go ahead. Um, first question. Um, what made you start making YouTube videos, and what keeps you motivated? Uh, I started making YouTube videos uh, one or two months ago. Um, why I started? Because while in my fitness journey, um, the thing that helped me a lot was seeing other people um, doing extraordinary things. For example, YouTubers. Um, I was looking forward to them, and um, just to name a few, for example, Christian Guzman, Matt Ogis, or like uh, Chris Jones, and. Um, I looked at their video every day just for tips, for um, for motivation, and um, I just want to do the same. And uh, I know a lot of people are not at their level yet because let's be honest, like Chris Jones is freaking massive, and uh, Matt Lucas is just shredded as fuck. So I want to be a more a more attainable example for you. So this is why I made this channel. I want to give help to the more people possible and. Is a good way to do it, and um, sorry, I have my phone with all the questions, so uh, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. And uh, what keeps you motivated? Um, the thing that keeps me motivated it's a bit weird, but when I see someone that I don't even know that goes to my gym or goes to my school and come up to me and say, Bro, I like I looked at your video, they're awesome, keep doing it, and uh. Yeah, it, it just makes me like, like what the hell, I have like a hundred subscribers and people come up to me and say like my video are dope. Like people at my gym, someone like came to me and said, yo, I saw your video and uh, they're, they're dope. People inboxing me and um, saying keep, keep doing what you're doing and um, so this is definitely very motivating for me. Next question, uh, when are you going to compete? Um. I don't know if you're talking about powerlifting or bodybuilding because he, well, this guy knows that I, I went into bodybuilding and I was doing powerlifting. But if you're talking about powerlifting, um, maybe after a bodybuilding show because bodybuilding right now is my priority. Um, maybe after my bodybuilding show, if uh, I'm bulking or uh, I want to get my strength back, I'll go back to powerlifting and do a, sh uh, a show. I was show but I'll compete and um, I'll see but uh, right now I want to do a bodybuilding show maybe not right now because uh, I'm definitely not ready as you, as you guys can see but at the end of 2017 or at the beginning of 2018 I'll be either doing a, a PQ show or I'll go into the EDFA show which is I think easier <laughs> so I don't know which one I want to do but probably late 2017 or um, beginning 2018 accordingly to my body and how I look alright so next question meal prepping can be repetitive boring meals how to make meals less boring alright this is a pretty good question because a lot of people are dieting and uh, summer are coming so uh, meal prep is definitely a good way to be um, to be on track and um, honestly it's a sacrifice to me either you do um, fast boring meals to save time or either you spend more time cooking but your meals are gonna taste better so it's a sacrifice of time or taste uh, but it's, there's definitely a way to do it and personally how I do it um, the only thing that I'm meal prepping is chicken 
I'm cooking chicken one time a week for the whole week. It takes me 40 minutes maximum and the other things are already cooked. For example, um, I'm eating chicken, rice, um, and Chinese, so we always have um, white rice at, house, uh, at home. We always have um, like leftover rice, so this is what I'm using, rice, chicken, and for veggies, I'm using frozen veg veggies. If I don't have time, I'll just put rice, chicken, and frozen veggies. I'll bring it to school, heat it up in the microwave, eat it. If I have more time, um, I don't know if you saw my last video, but I made like a fried rice with it. I just basically took a pan, rice, oh, veggies, rice, chicken, put the seasoning you want, a little bit of soy sauce, because it's fried rice, then eat it. It tastes super good and it's totally different from rice, chicken, and broccoli. And um, if you want to make like um, the same meal but different tastes, for example, rice, chicken, veggies, um, my tips for you will be more uh, different seasoning, uh, different sauce, different spices. Um, for every meal, try to put a different sauce. Uh, for, just to name a few, I actually put salad dressing on my chicken. It tastes super good and some salad dressing oh, I, like, only have um, 5 calories or 10 calories which is nothing. Um, there's Frank Red Hot which is 0 calories, there's uh, ketchup. Um, this is actually a sugar-free ketchup and um, basically like now in 2017 every sauce like comes in a like a healthier option like for example there's a barbecue sauce which is like um, calorie wise and there's like 5 calories or 10 calories so I'll um, try to put different sauce different spices and uh, it will change like the taste of your, of your food so this is my advice for having less boring meal prep food. All right, last question. All right, <laughs> this is a good one, but I'm gonna answer it at the end of it. Um, I bet you guys already know what question it is. What's your, at the end of this video, I'll be answered to this, okay, not now. All right, why did you start working out? That's a good question. Um, my fitness journey, I started working out in the gym when I was maybe 16, 17. Um, a fun story is I used to start working out because I was I was playing basketball. Um, I really liked basketball and I went to the gym only to train legs. You get like there's something wrong, like I went to the gym only to train legs and now I hate doing legs, but whatever. So I went to the gym only to train legs to train on my athleticism, athleticism. You, you get it. <laughs> so I went to the gym to jump higher, to work on my um, vertical jump, and uh, it worked. I lost a little bit of weight, and uh, I could grab the rim, and uh, my goal was to dunk, which never happened. So I started out. Um, going to the gym for basketball, then I realized I was pretty strong. It was maybe because I was pretty big, but I was pretty strong. So, you know what, I told myself, forget about basketball. Too much cardio, too much running. <laughs> so I went into track and field. And uh, what I did in track and field was throwing heavy shit all the time. So that was pretty nice. For like all the practice, I was just throwing shit, which I like to do, which I very, very enjoy doing. So I threw uh, shot put, I did discus, javelin, it was dope, it was my kind of sport. Um, but then I realized there weren't any track and field teams in CJEP and I wasn't really down to go into the civil team. So uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take a rest from track and field and I'm going to go to the gym. But because of track and field, I concentrated a lot on the strength training in the gym. So I went to the gym and I continued my journey of strength training. Then I discovered powerlifting. Powerlifting is basically living, uh, lifting heavy as shit. And uh, in, three, in three ways, there's uh, the squat, deadlift, and bench press. So I did powerlifting, I enjoyed it. I did a lot of programs. I got huge, like fat huge. I benched um, 350 pounds at like 17, 18. I squatted three, 
75 and I deal with it 405 um, yeah so I was strong maybe not for my weight but I was strong and um, then I grew older and uh, at 18 19 um, at my gym started be like they started having a lot of jacked people a lot of massive people that uh, they were they were very like nice to watch and I was fat I was rad I was like I was strong maybe maybe I was strong but I was I was like a ball you know and there were like a freaking Greek like you know they were they were good looking so I was like no is this worth it? Fuck powerlifting, I'm going to bodybuilding. And my main reason was I want to get more attention. Not only for girls, but like I want to get like more. Well, well not for girls because I had a girlfriend, but <laughs> I wanted to get more attention from people. Like people, I want I, I wanted people to look at me and say like, oh shit, he's giant, he's huge, he looks good. So this is why I started bodybuilding, and um. This is why I started working out. Hope it answered your question. Alright, next question. What advice would you, uh, would you give to new people trying to lose weight? Diet, workout program, blah, 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 blah. Alright. This is a tough answer because a lot of people came up to me asking for uh, weight loss tips because they saw my transformation and want to do the same thing. But the, things you, but the thing you have to realize with it is um. When I started cutting, I was already I was uh, already lifting for like more than two years, and um, I had already built muscle mass under my fat. And uh, if you just started lifting or getting serious into lifting, um, dieting would be well not dieting, well cutting would be the worst idea ever. And let me explain why. Um, when you're a teenager. Um, well, for guys, if you're like under 24, 25, um, your natural testosterone level are super high, are super, super high. And you should um, use this as your advantage and build more muscle mass. And you can't do this while cutting. If you just started working out, you have your um, beginner gains, which is when you start lifting, um, you get just super strong, super big, super quickly, and um, you have your natural testosterone very high. So my advice for you would be, if you're not obese, like if it's not dangerous for your health, you shouldn't care about the diet part. Well, not the diet part, you shouldn't care about the cutting part. You should care about building muscles. The more muscle you have, the easiest, the easier it will be for you to lose weight after it. If you're just fat and you cut weight, you'll just be skinny. You'll, like you'll be shredded, but you'll be skinny. And if that's what you want, if, if that's what you want, then do it. Like uh, comment down below or hit me up on IG. I'll try to give you some tips. But I'll suggest you to build muscle over one or two years. And when you will be satisfied, then you cut down. This is what I did. And even for me, I regret a little bit that I. Uh, I cut too soon because right now I'm 20 I just turned 20 and um, I should have been building more muscles than cutting when I'll be like late 20 but seeing my friends at the gym looking jacked I want to be the same so that's my personal uh, mistake but I'm pretty happy about how it looked and it's only because I've been lifting before I started cutting and this is what you should know but if you're really trying to cut, diet, um, losing weight is basically just being in a calorie deficit, which means having less calorie than your um, maintain calorie. Day. Like, for example, if you maintain your weight at 2,000 calories, um, losing weight is basically eating less than 2,000. That's that's simple. Um, I did something called intermittent fasting. Um, if you're interested in knowing what it is, comment down below. I'll try to make a video about my opinion, my uh, experience, um, how I did it, and uh, my results. Um, I can explain it to you guys. Um, 
so whatever a workout program high intensity superset drop sets uh, cardio hit uh, all the things that will make your heart rate up that will make your heart rate go up very quickly and uh, try to do a little bit of cardio of course the cardio will help your cal will help you be in a calorie deficit and um, hope it answers your question if not you can always um, always uh, send me down in the DMs alright um, what numbers are you trying to achieve in the big three the big three squat deadlift bench huh you natty bro yes I am natty I am a natural bodybuilder. I mean, I have a shitload of fat. I don't know if uh, you think this makes me a natty or whatever. I don't know what makes me a natty. Um, is it because I went to this, to this in a year? Or is it because uh, I'm, I'm a Jack Asian guy? Is it because of this? But I am natural. I have been lifting for four years, five years. Um, like I said, before I started cutting, I had a lot of muscle under my fat. And when I took off all the fat, I looked jacked. And I think this is the reason why people think I might be doing something. It's a long ass video. If you stayed this far, please click like, subscribe if you're not uh, already. Uh, my transformation video is coming. I'm trying to edit it. It's a lot harder than I thought because I have like a lot of pictures from a lot of device that I have to put all together in my computer. So it's uh, it took longer than I thought, but um, I'm I'm editing it right now and um, it will come. I promise. So subscribe if you want to see it. Um, like, comment what you want to see. Comment if you like this video. If you like my answers. If you think I'm wrong or if you think I'm lying or. Blah, 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 blah. Comment down below what you want to see in my next video and uh, subscribe, no, like, subscribe and uh, see you guys in the next one. I'll try to make a video in two days or tomorrow. Oh, yo, I want to say something, alright? I'm super excited. I posted a video and it got 100 views in less than like 12 hours. I'm super hyped and if this video gets to 100 views in like one day I'll release another one you know what like that if this video goes to 100 views I'll release another one tomorrow alright so see you guys uh, maybe tomorrow alright take care